Not that long ago, most of the insulin people with diabetes used came from pigs and cows, but the supply was very limited and the purity could be affected by how healthy the pig or the cow was. And so scientists had a better idea. If they could use insulin from pigs and cows, it meant humans also produced insulin and why couldn't they copy that? And so they decided to copy the recipe for natural human insulin, which was taking the gene that produced insulin and placing it inside a friendly bacteria. This bacteria would then become factories where if they were fed and kept warm and provided with the right amount of air, they could make human grade insulin. And so in the late 1980s, the first batches of human insulin were made this way. And when they got to patients, they were very pure and consistent. And it was also very easy to scale up because there were a lot of humans that they could get this gene from to make the insulin. So we no longer needed to collect the pancreases of animals. We could just grow a really large batch of bacteria in stainless steel tanks, harvest it, clean it, and test it carefully. Chemists have gone on to make small changes that create different types of insulin, like fast acting and long acting insulin. But it really just means that humans sometimes possess the cure within but what this means is that sometimes the cure that we can be looking for for certain diseases that we have lies within our bodies 